What brand is your toilet? After the story, you want to go check for sure. Yeah, that is because a large toilet manufacturer has agreed to pay homeowners who have them up to $4,000. We first told you about these faulty toilets back in 2016. Well, just this month, a federal judge signed off on a settlement in a class action lawsuit against the company. It was just coming out and just dripping down to the bottom. Amy Etchberger noticed the leak when her Vorton's toilet tank cracked in 2016. They know they're going to fail. Ann Alt wasn't home when her tank cracked, causing $20,000 in damage. Vorton's told us some tanks made in 2011 with model numbers 3464 and 3412 may have been affected by technical issues that caused the fractures. But the company refused to recall or replace the toilets or to reimburse customers for the damage damage the cracked tanks caused in their homes. We found the builder grade toilets installed in new homes from the Woodlands to Pearland, Copperfield to Garden Oaks. And now in this new settlement, if you have one of the affected Vorton's toilets, you can file a claim to either get a new one or get reimbursed. $300 if you replace it yourself and submit receipts or $150 if you already replaced it but no longer have the receipts as proof. And for homeowners whose homes flooded, you can get up to $4,000 to at least cover the deductible you may have had to pay your insurance company. I think they should take care of it. It's not my um, mistreatment of the product. It's a faulty product on their part, and I think they should take responsibility. Some say the settlement doesn't go far enough. Glenn Armbruster in Pearland emailed us this picture of the damage he says was left when his Vorton's tank cracked in March. His home was built before 2011, meaning the tank that cracked is not covered in this latest settlement. The Plano attorney who is spearheading the class action lawsuit has already filed papers with the federal court asking to add other Vorton's tank models for years 2004 through 2012. They are waiting on a ruling from the judge. We will let you know when they get an answer. For now, though, you can file your claim online, and we're linking you to that claim form on click2houston.com.